Hey there, welcome back guys. In today's video, we're going to be working on the tilt shift feature that you can do in Final Cut Pro. So you have some drone footage and you want to make it more intriguing, more enticing for your audience so that they can be like, oh wow, what the fuck is that? How do you do that? Well, in this video, we're going to show you how we're going to share that secret and you can apply it to any of your uh, videos or maybe you can apply it to the video and just take it and just use the still. So without any further ado, let's get started. So what you're going to want to do first is open up Final Cut Pro, okay? And if you already have it open, great. Um, so as you can see, I don't because I'm going to start from scratch. Remember, a lot of my videos are for beginners. Um, but if you're really, if you're advanced, maybe you've never done it before. But um, feel free to watch along. Okay. So you have Final Cut open, and then what you're going to do is you're going to create a new project. Call it whatever you want. For, in this case, I'm going to call it Tilt uh, Shift, right? And then you have there, you can either drag everything in or create a new, new project or library, whatever works best for you. But um, hopefully you will have downloaded all the files. I put all the files all the way up in the GitHub repository because um, this way you can just work along. Maybe you don't have the footage. Maybe you're thinking of taking the footage or maybe you just don't know what to choose from. But everything is here in the library. Just download them individually because um, the, I believe the maximum of size you're allowed to put up there is 25 megabytes. So that's why everything's broken up into different files, but just download them. I can download all of them or just the ones for this project. So anyway, so what you're gonna do is this is what we're going to create. See where it says here, Ridgewood mini space bar. Look at that, a mini world within the world. That's so cool. So um, the actual footage is just, you know, really, really big. Uh, you can see, and, and this is part one. Part two, we're gonna do speed ramp. See how it just speeds up a little bit and then it just plays along, right? And then wait for it, maybe every 10 seconds or seven seconds, um, depending on, uh, you know, your preference. And um, right about now, it's gonna speed up again. And then, you know, and I'll just stop at a certain point and then just play again slowly. And you, you play with it, you find out what works for you. Okay, remember part one is going to be tilt shift, uh, and part two is going to be the speed ramp. All right, so let's get started. So, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first video, which is at the top here. Uh, DJ, the DJI one is this one. See that? That's the original footage that we're gonna be working with. All right, I'm just gonna space bar out, and then it's gonna take the footage, and then just drag it in. See, as simple as that. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the effects tab. The effects tab is on the right hand side. So if you don't see it, let's say if your final cut looks like that. Uh, what you're gonna do is press that, voila. And then you're gonna make sure that, you see how it says all? You wanna make sure it's in all. So if you're here, color presets, whatever, it's not gonna work. Put it in all because we have to search for a particular effect. Now type in, oops, not autofill. I'm not sure why that's happening. Uh, press escape, there we go. And we're gonna type in um, focus. Okay, see how you have the two options in there? All right, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first focus and just drag it right in. See that? And then it creates a little bit of a blurry effect. But now what we're gonna have to do is see how it's a little bit boxed in. We're gonna have to adjust the width. The width goes um, from this way to that way. That's the width. And this is the height. Height, width. Okay, so we're gonna adjust the width. Um, okay, so then what you wanna do is right here, see it's one, two, three, fourth one down and that's width. So now we're gonna bring the width out and the watch in the, in, the, in the middle to 100%, see? It's sort of like close, see, open. See how the width is doing that? So make sure it's at 100%. Um, and now the height is okay, height is pretty good, but it also depends on your footage because some footages might not work well that way. So in some footage, let's say the height might be, you know, you might, might wanna bring it out more or you wanna bring it in more. And it depends on how you want to catfish your audience. I call it catfishing because a lot of times with those catfish, they're like, no, no, just look here, I'm right here. And then until you meet them, they're like, what the fuck is that? So you want to create that effect that like, no, 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 look up here, I'm up here. So you want to do that with your video, <laughs> but you're not really, you know, sort of, like, you know, so you can do that by touching this little thing in the middle. See that? And you just adjust it. See how it just moves it around? the experience, right? So I'd say for this video, maybe a little further up, right? Um, and then again, we can increase that, uh, you know, 
by by just adding the amount like let's say I want to add more right so let's say the amount can be see how Chris rates a little bit too much so we want to leave it at it's all up to you it's preference 38 I think 38 is all right 38 39 let's say 39 now watch what happens when I press play see it's just like creates a mini world within a world um and again, you could move it around for, for the catfish experience so that when they're just focused on one, one particular element and for in this one, it actually works better if it's moved up a little bit because you see how the building is up there. So we want to we want to engage them in that particular area. So now see that. Look at that, really cool. So they're just focused up there. And it's a mini world within a world. But this is great, but now like, how do I make it more intriguing, more into music? You add music to it. And there are lots of, I'll leave a link to different um, websites where you can actually download the, the music. Sometimes it's really hard. They're like free trial, free this, free that. But there's one particular site, that uh, movie, it's like a trailer site where you can just download um, free sounds. Um, so let's say for example, I would just wanna, Get the sounds but the sounds are already there remember this is for the project um, but I'll leave a link to for other sounds that you can actually download um, so that would be tilt shift we're just going to use the original one that's in the video feel free to use it um, so now we have here I'm just gonna drag whoops drag it here and now when I press spacebar right here and then voila Look at that. The music just makes it more live, it comes to life. Now, just wait a little bit, seven. Kind of neat, huh? But remember, the music works well for this ambience that I want to create. You can change it, right? So now if you change the music, you might have to change the um, speed of it. And that's where part two comes in, in speed ramp. Uh, because look, now watch. This does it work well for this scene, but now if I take the music out, right? And then bring this back in, bring in a different sound, bring in a space mission, right? Because this took place on the way to outer space. Whoops. Just use this because the mouse doesn't really work well on a silicone pad. Um, let's just get a mouse pad. I know it's somewhere in the attic. Okay, so now we're going to change the music and add space mission music, right? Now that changes everything. Um, space bar. So in this case, I, I feel like it's going too slow, right? It's just going the, the, the other one. So that's where speed ramp comes in. So that's going to be the second part of this tutorial. And, um, hopefully the tilt shift, you'll be able to, um, you know, make use of it and, and share with us, uh, throw it up on YouTube and share the link and show what you've done with the tilt shift effect with your drone footage or any other footage. Maybe I like that still like that, right? So what I can do is I can take the still and inside Final Cut, just click right here, right? And then click here, export current frame and then click next. It'll save it as a TIFF, uh, save it on my desktop, call it tilt shift because it's just a TIFF so it could be named the same thing has the uh, other file. And then if I go here to my um, desktop and there it is, I'll bring it over so that you guys can see because we're in the screen. And now when I open it, I'll bring it over here again, because you probably see it right over there. Uh, let me just bring this over. Look at that, I think I have a little sill. That, that would sell pretty good. Oh, I, maybe I'll frame one of those and put one of those up here. Um, so anyway, that's the tilt shift, a mini world within a world. And I hope this video helped you and you can have a, you know, more, uh, uh, better experience editing your videos and adding features and functions to engage your audience. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.